Hello everybody. I know it's been a long time, uh, so I finally want to finally want finally want to do a video on an update of uh, I have a big haul of movies that I have purchased from uh, in the mail because uh, Best Buy still uh, not, I'm still not really it's not open yet. So I got like a big big pack a uh, big us uh, um, stack of movies I want to share with you guys what I have. Um, so guys, here's show you about what I bought. I've got a whole stack of here. Really, really good movies, by the way, too. I'm not gonna get into the plots and stuff. I don't feel like explaining all that. I'm gonna make it a little. I'm just gonna make it a little short video. But um, I just wanna get into. I'm just gonna show you what the movie is. I'm not gonna, like I said, like they say the details of the movie, the plot, and nothing like that. So, uh, so my first uh, purchase I got, and I'll tell you what I think of the movie also. Uh, my first purchase was this I got on Blu-ray DVD, and that's The Invisible Man. There you go. It's the front of it. Really good movie, guys. Really good suspense. Definitely got to check this one out. Here's the front. That's the back right here. Um, I didn't get it on 4K because I haven't seen any kind of rating or review on it just, you know, yet. So I might just keep it on Blu-ray. Um, like, like, like I said, I'm not, I don't think I want to get every movie on 4K. Just certain ones I'm going to get on 4K. So that's the first, first purchase. Uh, my next purchase is... I know I haven't did a review on these guys. I might do individual reviews of that. I might. I know I usually do. I just haven't been motivated. I've been being kind of lazy lately, and there's just so much, so much stuff going on in the world right now. I haven't really been motivated to really do anything. Um, so my next purchase is uh, Bloodshot. Um, you know, so it's this Vin, Diesel, Vin Diesel's new movie. It's usually a hit or miss with Vin Diesel when he does movies by himself. Um, I, th I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't see this in theaters. I wasn't really planning on seeing this in the theaters. I think it was bad. I think it was pretty decent. I think it was a little better than a man apart. And um I really enjoy it. That's another guilty pleasure of mine is, is the triple X series. I really do enjoy all the triple X movies. Um this is kind of like a guilty pleasure too. I really enjoyed this movie. I know they try to start a universe with this, but it's not happening. So I got this on 4K. It wasn't a bad movie. You know, Vin Diesel's acting is I had did a review on this, I, I think. I think I did a review on this already, but I didn't show the 4K about it, so there you go. It's Bloodshot. It's the front cover. It's the back of it. It's just a superhero movie. That's all it is. Superhero movie. Sorry for the glare, guys. That's my TV on. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, my next purchase was to me has to be my favorite video game movie right now. And that is Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm telling you guys, this movie is really, really good, guys. Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, Jim Carrey plays Dr. Robotnik. Um, hold on, guys. Let me turn this TV off. Okay. A big glare coming on. Um, I'm 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 more of a Nintendo guy, so I'm not a big big fan of the video game, but I do like the games. Never beat none of the Sonic games because they they that hard, <laughs> really hard game. All right, it's the front right here, front cover. You got Sonic, Doctor Robotnik. It's the back of it, right here. Yeah. All right, guys. My next purchase is I know this is uh the this movie was divided. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a really good DC movie. Is it my favorite DC movie? No. But this is Birds of Prey. Uh, I got to read this title. It's so freaking long. Uh, and the Fantabulous Emancipation of, of One Harley Quinn, which they ended up changing when it was when it was in theaters. It was just called, I think, Harley, Harley Quinn Birds of Prey or something like that. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I, like I said, uh, it's like a, I, I did a review on this before. It's just the DC version of Deadpool. You know, she has a lot of quirky, uh, little go goofy jokes and stuff, and a lot of goofy stuff happening in the movie, like Deadpool was, little one-liners and everything. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty good. It was none of that women empowerment. I don't care what no other pe pe person said. This is my opinion. I didn't see none of that in there. Okay, it was a female team fighting Mac men. We, we like we never seen that before. Um, this is a really good movie, guys. Really check this out. I got it on 4K. That's the front. Is the back of a really fun movie, guys. Really fun movie. Check it out. Highly recommend. Uh, this next one is really, really good. You know, I'm a big, big fan of Will Smith and Martin. And that is Bad Boys for Life on 4K. Yes. Yes, it's cops. I'm sorry. I know that the cops right now is controversial, but I really, really love this movie. I really love this movie. I hope they do a part four. I think which I think they're supposed to whenever. Whenever we get ever get back to normal, which who knows when that's gonna be. Um, so I got this on 4K, guys. Really good movie, guys. Really good. I mean, surprise. I did a review on this. Surprisingly, there's emotional scenes in it. Uh, big twists also. So check it out. It's the front. It's the back over right here. Really good movie, guys. Really good movie. 
Okay, now this one. I was gonna do reviewing this, but I'm like, uh, this is okay. I didn't think it was as horrible as everybody said it is, but I do. I think I watched it again. I don't know. And it's like copying two, well, one big movie I love, and that is the Alien movie. Alien and uh, one we call uh, Leviathan, which was I thought was okay. But it's really copying Leviathan, and that is Underwater with Kristen Stewart. I'm not a big fan of Kristen Stewart in the first place, so I try to give it some change. I thought it was just okay. The creature effects, it looks like something you see in Cloverfield. It's like a Cloverfield monster. That's what it looked like. It was okay. I got it on Blu-ray. I don't think this was on 4K. I looked at it. I don't think. I'm glad I didn't get it on 4K. It's not even worth 4K purchase. That's the back of it right here. I did. All right. My next movie is um really good movie. The cinematography, you know, like, like I said before, I'm not a, I can't explain movies that well. I, I just like, if it's something that entertains me, I like it. I know some people say it's cinematography, but the cinematography in this movie is pretty good. It's also one shot and that is 1917 on 4K. Pretty good movie. Interesting. I gotta be in the mood to watch war flicks, but uh, I will I watch this again. I don't know when I will, but I had to be in the mood to watch these. That's the front. It's the back of it right there. It has um one of the known actors I know is in is the guy who played um Doctor Strange. What is his name? Shoot, my mind's a blank. Oh, let me know on the bottom, guys. I forgot I forgot the man's name. <laughs> oh shoot, I just had it. I forgot. Okay, my next purchase is Midway, another war movie, right here. Uh, it's directed by Roland Emmerich, the guy that did, you know, he's known for uh, Independence Day. He's a lot of disaster flicks, 2012 and and um, Day After Tomorrow, stuff like that. This is his war movie. Pretty good movie. It's on 4K. It's the front. There's the back of it. Uh, my next purchase is... Uh, I'm a casual watcher of Star Wars. I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars. I, sometimes I have to stop. I don't know what the heck's going on, so... Please bear with me. I'm sorry, guys, but I really like this movie. It's really enjoyable. And that's Star Wars, uh, Rise of the Skywalker. It's far better than Last Jedi. Can I explain the movie to you? No, I cannot. Because I'm not a big, big Star Wars fan. I just watch it and just get entertained by it. I can't really explain the stuff going on. Half the times I forget some of the characters' names. So I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, Star Wars fans. Um, but I really like this movie. I thought I had a proper ending. That's the front. That's the back. I didn't get it on 4K. Um... Sometimes the Disney movies are hit or miss on 4K. Sometimes the sound is not great of the picture. Um, my next purchases and my two last purchases are. Um, hold on, let me do this one first. Sorry, guys. I got these on 4K. And they look really decent on 4K. And the first purchase is, is the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Uh, like I said before, I, I've been spoiled now with the, the um, Tom Holland ones. I really love those more now. But I... For some reason, when I watch these, like uh, last time I watched them, I really enjoyed them. Because before that, I was like, eh. so I was like, it's like I'm just I'm, I'm weird. Sometimes movies I revisit some of them, I just think they're uh, they're really really good. And then I rewatch them again. Uh, then I watch it again. I really love them. <laughs> I'm weird like that, guys. I'm sorry because I just finished watch. I had watched BVS today, and I still really really love that movie. I really enjoyed it now than I did before. Especially we got the Snyder Cut coming out next year, sometime next year. For HBO Max, which that app I haven't paid for it yet because it's not on Fire Stick yet for some stupid reason. I don't know why they don't have an Amazon Stick yet. And I heard it wasn't on Roku. If people don't have Roku, it's not on there yet either. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I wanted to get that just for that. And I want to watch it on the big screen. So I don't know. Hopefully, they down the line, they'll put it on the Amazon. I don't know how they're going to do it. But hopefully, they can put it on Amazon Stick. But sorry, guys. I'm off topic. But this is the Spider Man movies in front of it. I'll show you the inside of it. So this is a uh, little box set. Go right there. Mary Jane, Spider Man. It's like a booklet. So I'm not gonna go through all of it. I'll just show you what guys what the discs are. Um, okay, hold on. This is the Blu-ray right here. The discs right here on the side, right there. Uh, this is the 4K with the discs right here on the side. This is the first movie. Oh, this is Spider Man Two, the Blu-ray. Same thing. This is on the side right there. Artwork. Uh, Spider-Man 2, the, the 4K. This is on the side. I think the uh, 4K movies don't have the um, extended cut. Yeah, just the, that's what which I don't like about this set. Only the Blu-rays have the extended versions. They don't have the um, they don't have it on the 4K right there. Uh, Spider-Man 3. 
I used to love this movie. Watching, I haven't rewatched it in a while. I did rewatch these two on 4K. They were good. Uh, I might feel differently, but I gotta watch. It. I gotta revisit it again. I might like them like I used to back then. This is the Blu-ray. This is the, they have an extended version. I haven't watched them yet. I, I gotta check this one out. By the way, uh, 4K don't. It's not extended. It's only on Blu-ray only. It's right there. Uh, then you got the bonus disc right here. That's all for the special features. Nothing like that. All right, guys. Last but not least, I do have more movies I have purchased, but I haven't watched them yet, so I'm not going to talk about them yet. But this is the last one, and that's the um, this Mark Webb one. There's Mark Webb. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, again, Mark Webb. Mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield. I like. I, I mean, I really, I really like these more better. I like these better than I did with the Sam Raimi ones, and I revisited them again. I watched the first one. I haven't watched part two again. But I really did enjoy the storytelling they did. The, the everything was good in this movie. The acting. I thought Andrew Garfield was a pretty pretty decent Spider Man. I like the villain, a lizard. Uh, I thought it was good. I still enjoy him to this day. Uh, that's the back of it right here. And a lot of people didn't like part two. I really enjoyed part two. Back in the day, I saw that one in the theaters. But I got I do have to revisit those again. That that one again. So I gotta watch that one again. Same thing with the artwork and everything. So. This is the booklet. I'm not going to go through all that. So I'm just going to show you guys all the discs. This is the Blu-ray right here of Amazon. Um, <laughs> the Amazing Spider-Man. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the 4K. Which really, it looks really good on 4K, by the way, guys. I highly recommend it on 4K. I haven't watched part two yet on 4K. Yeah, I do got to check that one out. Uh, Spider-Man 2 on Blu-ray. And uh, the 4K of Spider-Man 2. Uh, I was so... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is the bonus disc. I was so disappointed back in the day when these movies first came out and they were building up a little Spider Spider-Man universe and they were eventually was supposed to do the um Sinister Six. Um I was really looking forward to it because I really enjoyed both movies back then. I thought, and I thought Jamie Foxx was great as Electro and they had Green Goblin briefly. Actually it looks like Green Goblin. It looks like a green go decent Green Goblin than we got with William Defoe, which is like some from Power Rangers. To this day I still think he's a corny Green Goblin, but he, he was decent. Um but I was very, when it first came out, I heard they were rebooting. I was like, why? Why? Um, so, and I had heard they were going to put it in the MCU. So I said, let's see, I, I'll give it a chance. But I was so upset because they had plans to do more. And they were building up Sinister Six. And we never had an answer to the man, that man in black guy. That guy that kept showing in the first two films, like the first movie, they showed him at the end credits. And uh, they kept showing him, teasing him on part two. And it was they had more build up about his parents' death. It was behind his parents' death, but we never got that. But I'm over it. <laughs> we got a decent Spider-Man now, finally. Uh, so we're supposed to get another one. I don't know when they'll be able to film it now. I think it was a, supposed to come out next year, but I don't know, guys. Just it's a crazy world we're living in now. Who knows when that's ever going to happen now. There's so much stuff going on. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm finally, when it's finally motivated to do something. I'll do a video. Um, I'm going to try to do more. I know there's a lot of movie updates also. I have to get. I have to go go through and check them out. There's been a lot of, lot of movie updates. There's just so much stuff going on um, right now. Movie updates. Um, I'm not really into games like I used to be. I know they had revealed about the, P the PS5, so I'm not really into. I'm not really talk about that because I'm not. This is only for movies only. Um, so, but I do gotta check out the uh, some of the stuff about the movies. And there's been like stuff about Screen Five, and uh, um, I think it was more stuff about the Snyder Cut. I think, and like Sonic Two, which I'm excited for. I like. I love the first Sonic. But, you know. Hopefully they have, to, you know, it's what tells was at the end credit scene on that one. And they, hopefully they put knuckles in it, something like that. But all right, guys, I just want to do a little quick video. I do have some more movies I might go through. I'm gonna tell you what I, I'm gonna share those with you, but I haven't watched them yet. So I hope you guys, I hope everybody's doing fine in this crazy world we live in. I hope you're keeping safe, keeping healthy, and maybe take a break from the media. It's just so much craziness going on in this world right now. So much stuff. But I hope you, I wish you guys well. I hope everybody doing is good. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, and hit that subscribe button. Also, I really would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.